41% of air travel in the U.S. being short haul, there is an estimated 3.61 tons of fuel per flight used, with an approximate carbon footprint of 234 kilograms of CO2 per passenger. German aerospace company Lilium aimed to decarbonize aviation with the world's first electric vertical takeoff and landing jet, making zero emission regional flights a reality. Set to launch in 2025 and ranging from six to $10 million per jet, Fast Company took an exclusive look at their innovation lab in Munich, Germany, to find out how they aim to achieve their goal through electric engines. Our philosophy was to create a radically new means of transportation that can bring regional flight into our everyday life. So we had to rethink everything, the aircraft architecture, the propulsion technologies, how we integrate it. The aircraft has a span of 14 meters. It's eight meters long, carries one pilot and four to six passengers in the cabin. It flies at roughly 250 kilometers per hour, up to 10,000 feet in altitude. To do something that is a world's first in so many aspects, this is not a straight line. So of course you are going through multiple iterations of different tests and failures and improvements and pivots on the technology and even on the business model to finally get to something that flies. Obviously this is a very unique airplane. There isn't anyone like it in the world. The beauty of having 36 engines, you have significant redundancy within the airplane. So actually we can tolerate up to four engines failing at any one time, and then we can still maintain safe flight. There are very strict certification requirements that we have to pass. And because of the nature of this airplane, you know, typically an engine has to survive a bird impact. In our case, because we have so many engines, we have to survive a flock of birds. So there's up to six birds can hit the airplane at any one time, and we have to show that we can continue to safely fly. Bird is one of the biggest threats to the engine, to any airplane. This is our impact test rig, which fires projectiles. In some cases, it's simulating hailstones or simulating a bird, various sizes. There's typically three types of birds. A small bird, you want to ensure that it has no impact to the operation of the engine. There's the medium bird, and that you need to demonstrate that you can generate specific amount of thrust so that you can do a go-around safe landing. And then there is the extreme bird, the rare, large, bird, what we need to demonstrate is not that the engine can handle it, but that the engine can safely shut down without creating a hazard to the airplane. We're in our acoustic test facility. Noise is a very, very critical parameter for our airplane, and the main noise source is, of course, the engine. Noise is a competitive advantage for us. Not just competitive, but it's also an IP advantage for us. So what we want to do is keep all that testing in-house and we want to be as rigorous as possible in our ability to characterize the various noise sources and how we're able to attenuate them through various means. We have a full machine shop in-house to produce metallic parts, but before we commit to metal, we have a number of 3D printers. So print the parts in plastic so that we can get a hands-on view and it just makes the process so much faster. This aircraft next year will go into its first manned flight and then go through a very rigorous one and a half years flight test campaign with a total of six aircraft before it gets certified to have the highest safety degree among aviation, the same safety level like a commercial airliner. Of course, there's always naysayers who say, electric flight is not possible, for example. But since we founded the company, these concerns were there and we consistently proved them wrong. Initially, there were concerns that electric flight doesn't work at all. Then there were concerns that manned vertical takeoff and landing would not work uh, with an electric aircraft. And today, there's widespread acceptance that these types of aircraft, battery-powered vertical takeoff and landing, will be a significant part of our future of transportation.